All right, hello class. This is uh, my video discussion six of financial projections. So uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. What are the economics of your business? Uh, starting off with the pricing structure. Um, basically, uh, for one caller with the spray, um, I was thinking, you know, sixteen dollars just for that. So uh, that's just one basic, just the basic caller with the spray, and then I had another package where it would be the uh, caller with a spray attached to it, plus uh, two extra spray bottles, and then uh, yeah. So though that's that's what I'm thinking right now. Obviously, it's bound to change. So yeah, my costs. So um, you know, uh, it's primarily my my store, my business is gonna primarily be ran online for I think the first year. That's what I'm thinking for the first year. So uh, I was thinking about running it off this thing called Shopify, and uh, you know, it's a monthly payment of uh twenty seven dollars. So uh, that's one cost. Uh, so uh, we'll go to expenses too. Um, you know, I would have to pay for, uh, you know, I was, I have a, uh, supplier who will be able to ship me 500 callers with my logo on it. Um, it's 500 and I think I would only be paying around seven to $10. And, uh, yeah, so that'd be mainly, I still have to work on my economics of this business, but yeah, that's mainly what I'm looking at right now. So yeah, that's my pricing structure, my cost, uh, obviously I got to pay my employees, um, so uh yeah I'm, i i still need to work on that i'm still trying to figure out the numbers and stuff uh how much money is required to get your business started and generating generating revenue i believe i only need around i obviously want to have more just in case uh you know i'm gonna say around i want to have two thousand dollars on me once i uh you know get this business started i know it's probably gonna cost way less but uh it's better to have more money than to have you know uh an amount where you know you don't feel comfortable Com Oh, okay uh, what needs to happen to break even i just need to sell um i need to sell a, a lot of collars that's it you know um if for example my business if i'm starting my business with uh two thousand dollars and all that money is gone i need to you know sell enough collars to match it up and i think that would be around uh if i sell i think it's i did the math i think it was like 20 15 dollar collars and uh because at first my my uh, plan was to start with three hundred fifty dollars, because I I feel like I could start with very 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 low. I could start this business with very low, um, with not that much money. So, I was thinking you know about selling uh around twenty of those fifteen dollar callers, and you know like five of the twenty two dollar callers. I think that would per that would be perfect for uh, for us to break even. Um, but uh, I do just I do plan on uh breaking even quickly, so. I just need to sell as many collars as I can in order to break even. What are your potential funding sources? So um, I will be using my own money. Um, if I have to, I will go to friends and family. But um, I do believe I can uh, you know, save up enough money to uh, fund this business by myself. How will I spend the loan money? I will use the loan money to invest it back into the company, you know, um, pay my employees and um, just use the money smart, not use it on stupid things how will the loans be secured um i've seen people you know put up their houses or car or something but to be honest i think if somebody invests into my company i think i would uh you know give them some of my company once the company starts making a lot of money you know i can give them a percentage of my company and uh, you know that's it you know you have you can build i can build a relationship with an investor and you know from there the company can just uh, blossom and uh, yeah, it's my video six discussion. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.